Government says it will take a decision whether or not to dispose of the Ghana Consolidated Diamonds Company at Akwitia in the eastern region after it holds consultations with the community. There's been several failed attempts to revamp or divest the defunct diamond company. Here's a report by Komla Kluche. It's provided livelihood for thousands of people. Aquitia live its glory purposely over the existence of the mines. The great consolidated diamonds Ghana Limited was divested and sold to the Jospon Group for a controversial $17 million for revamping. The NPP government took steps to abrogate the contract, handing it over to a new interim management team. The attempt has since expired. The abrogation is currently being litigated. Obsolete and rotten refinery plants lie at the mercy of the weather. Defunct Diamonds factory in Aquitia was in existence. Three of them have been turned into scrap and sold off. Tributors remind on the concession are currently battling with government over the wholesale ban on small scale mining. Unemployment is rife in Aquitia as residents cry for the resuscitation of the company. Maza, it's a very, very big blue. Our homes were broken, our children dropped off from school. Almost 100 workers died during this period. When do we get to see uh, life back in Aquitia? Myself and Attorney General have been discussing it. Our lawyers are there. In Palashu, we had a meeting. And uh, it's, uh, uh, we have taken a position to, to go public and, and dispose of it at some point. You no longer have an interest in it? Well, there is the discussion. I can tell you that some opinion within SIGA and others, uh, many of finance, believe that we should retain some percentage in Aquitia. Um, we cannot just let the whole 100% go. Others also believe we should sell the whole lot. Um, so, and we need to, co uh, to discuss that with the community in Aquitia and the surrounding area. So it's a decision that we've made hopefully within the next two, three weeks when we've gone over the, the league ahead of. Komla Kluche, TV3 News, Accra.